We've just updated the Sudoku puzzle tool, adding the ability to create interactive PDFs for the Kindle Scribe, as well as the ability to save, load, and delete settings. We've also added a color option for your puzzles, which is perfect for Sudoku books targeted to kids. Let's head over to a book creator and I'll demonstrate how to use the new features of this tool. Let's start by taking a look at the new Kindle Scribe ability. To use this function, you go to Book Settings and click on Kindle Scribe. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. With this option, you're going to get the puzzle index list automatically created for you, and you're going to get the automatic links to the list, to the solution for each puzzle, and a back button on the solution so they can easily navigate through these puzzles on the Kindle Scribe or any other tablet. So let's go ahead and get the settings the way we'd like. How about we do a nine by nine, go under puzzles. Let's do a hundred hard puzzles. Oh, not puzzle. a hundred hard puzzles. And let's make the font size bigger for this. Let's make it a little bit higher up by increasing the space between the puzzle and the title. Let's do the same for the answer pages. And let's make these a little bit bigger. Let's say maybe 18. Let's do another refresh. And here's what the puzzle page looks like and the answer page. I think I want to have a little bit more space here, so I'm going to move this to one. I like that better. I can do the same thing on the answer page and move that to one. And now that I like the way it looks, I can download this PDF. And here's what the PDF looks like. So you have your link to your index, and that will take you to this page. And then you can click on any puzzle, and it will take you to that puzzle. Click on Solution, and you'll go to the Solution page. Click on Back, and you'll go back to the Puzzle page. And it also has a table of contents over here, making it very easy to navigate for tablets. So this is an awesome type of, of downloadable to be adding into your inventory. You can sell these on Etsy or anywhere else you can sell printables. Let's go look at the next function, and that's the save and load. So let's click on save and load settings. Now I don't have any settings saved, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this one, and I'm gonna call it Kindle Scribe. You'll get this message saying that your settings have been saved and you'll see it added here to your list of save settings. Since I only have one, there's only one here. We'll come back to this in a minute, but first let's go show you another new ability. And that is the ability to use color in your puzzles. So let's do, say, an eight and a half by 11. How about we do a six by six puzzle, maybe four puzzles per page, six puzzles per answer. And then you go to puzzle settings, and you click on this button. Use different colors for each number or letter. You can click on that. You can customize these colors and change them to anything you like. Let's say we're doing a book for kids, so maybe we wanna do 10 easy, 20 medium, 30 hard puzzles. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. And this is what that will look like. So each number gets its own color. That's going to correspond to these colors here. The puzzle page, here's the answer page. Let's move that down. Let's move it down a little bit in here too. 0.5. And I think I like everything else. So let's do another refresh. And now I can go and save these settings. And let's call it kids 6 by 6 color. So now that one is saved. It shows up here. We can go back and load our Kindle Scribe settings. Do a refresh. And now we're back at the same settings we had for the Kindle Scribe. And we can easily go back to the Kids Color One. And now we're back at the Kids Color One. 
I want to show you one more thing. So let's go ahead and go back to the Kindle Scribe option. Do refresh. Now let's say we wanted to do a book for kids with color for the Kindle Scribe. So I'm going to change the dimensions to 4x4, four four, so we're dealing with children. I'm going to go and click on Use Different Colors. Switch the puzzles to be easy ones. Let's go ahead and do a refresh. Now they're in color. Let's make these bigger. It's a puzzle, and that's the answer, and I like that. So let's go ahead and download this one. Here's what it looks like. So we've got our index with all of our puzzles in our answers and we can go back and forth from the index to the solution to our puzzles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download this onto my Kindle Scribe and I'm going to also download it into my iPad and show you how it looks on both of those types of devices. But first I want to mention that if you have a Wingdings font or another font with symbols that you can use that font to create shape sudokus. I have a Wingdings regular font, so I'm going to use that. Go into book settings and switch it from Sudoku to letter Sudoku. Then you go to puzzle settings and you set what letters to use. I happen to know that L, N, U, and option 8 give me some nice symbols. Let's do a refresh and I'll show you what it looks like. So now I have the symbols instead of letters. And that's an easy way to create shape Sudoku. Now let's go and look at the previously downloaded puzzle on my Kindle. I used the send to Kindle function to send this document to my Kindle. So here it is. So we have our index. We can get back to any one of the puzzles. Go to the solution page. You can go back to the puzzle page. You can solve the puzzle. Four, one, four, two. And if you put the wrong number, you can erase it. And I can go back to the index and check it off and say I did the puzzle and then go to the next puzzle. And you can continue on. So it's really easy to use. This is a perfect application for it for children. Now let's go and look at it on the okay. iPad. I used AirDrop to transfer the file from my iMac to my iPad. And you see on the iPad, you have all the colors shown. Again, you can do the same thing by clicking on index, go to the index, click on the puzzle, go back to the puzzle, the solution, go to the solution go back. So you have all the same functionality that you have on the Kindle Scribe. But now you have options to use color. So if we have, let's see, fours in red. And let's say this is four. And then the ones are in blue. We can do one here. And two's in green. So we can do two in green. And then three in yellow, get back to four in red. So this is a lot of fun for the kids because they can use colors with the iPad versus the Kindle that's just black and white. And this should work with any tablet device that there is that you have a pen with. Go start generating these puzzles and put them on Etsy and start selling them and cashing in on this emerging niche. And there you have it, an overview into the incredible new capabilities of our Sudoku puzzle tool. If you have any questions about how to use this tool or suggestions for new features to add to this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.